What's up guys, Totally Dubbed here and uh, today I'm going to show you how to flash over JVQ and this is what I already have on my phone it is JVQ Base 2.3.4 and I've got uh, ZSJPG and whatnot on my phone let me just show you there you go as you can see so yeah, and also I've got my new camera, which I am uh, playing around with, 720p recordings. So yeah, that is um, currently on JVQ. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just flash over um, uh, 10.1 RE, and I'm just going to go from there to let you guys know like how to get on from 10.1. So it's a much easier install, and you can follow it much better um, if I'm on a ROM, which is a little bit more familiar rather than the one you're going to be flashing to. So um, I'll be right back uh, with the 10.1. Uh, right, I'm on a 10.1 RE, so I flashed it via Odin. So uh, ignore this, uh, what I just did now, it's just to show, show that uh, if you're on 10.1 or uh, another ROM or anything like that. So um, what I've just done now, as you can see, I just got it off the PC and um, what I did, I just formatted the USB, so uh, just to make it a nice little clean install. And in my files, I just copied across a JVQ base and 2.8.tar. So you want to make sure they're into, into your internal SD card. And there's the two things you need. Now, once you've done that, you want to go into recovery. So over here, I can quick boot into recovery. If not, switch off and do the three button method by going up. Um, home and power and I'll get you into recovery so why we're going to recovery we're going to enable the lag fix if it isn't already enabled the reason we're doing this is because it prevents any uh, problems um, and also uh, you'll have uh, voodoo enabled once you flash over JVQ so uh, we're just waiting for it to uh, boot up now just vibrated As you can see, we're in a we're in a recovery right now. So what we're going to do is uh, check that Voodoo's enabled. And so imagine that I just enable it now. So enable lag fix, enable that, and debug off. So once you've done that, you want to reboot system now, just to make sure that Voodoo's enabled. And you'll know that's usually um, when Voodoo speaks. So I don't know if it's going to do it now or not, uh, but we'll see. Um, but then after that, we're going to go into recovery again. So there you go, it's talking. So it was not enabled. So there we go, it's being enabled now. And so um, that just uh, lets you know that uh, Voodoo's enabled. So I'll just get back to you after Voodoo's been enabled. Okay, so once you've enabled the lag fix, uh, just obviously, if you haven't done already, make sure that you've got the files in your internal SD, as you can see there. And so what we want to do now is go back into recovery. Right, once in recovery, uh, what you want to do is um, factory reset for starters. This has to be done. Uh, you have to do a wipe, and it's the only way you're going to really be able to do it. So uh, you have to do this if you want to go on JVQ. Uh, so many JVs nowadays, huh? Uh, wipe cache partition and wipe Dalvik cache. So once you've done that, you want to go install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and choose the JVQ base. That, and let it run. So I'll get back to you guys after that's finished. Right, once that's done, you want to go back and reboot system now. As you can see, I've turned down the lights as well. So um, we'll just let that boot up. Right, so now we go through setup. And there you go, you're on a uh, JVQ. Dark Core 2.8, JVQ, JVQ baseband. And just to show you. JVQ, JVQ, JVQ. So next thing you want to do is um, check what CSC you're on. Uh, usually it's going to be Korea which means that, for example, me, I'm on Virgin, you get T-Mobile UK. This feature you cannot get on uh, Darkies 10.1, but uh, and you can get it on 9.5, and you can get on JVQ, which is good. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, you want to find out your uh, IEMIs, and then hit hash. It'll come up with a pop-up, 
as you can see there and write that down on a piece of paper once you've done that do that followed by your IEMI so I'm going to do that right now I've got it on my piece of paper right here. Once you've done your IEMI followed by hash, so star H272 star IEMI H, you'll come up with this screen. And as you can see, it's on KOR, which is Korea, and I want to go XEU. You hit XEU and you press install. The reason you do this now is because if you do it later, it'll do a factory reset. And um, yeah, that's the point of installing apps and then factory resetting it. So you might as well do it at the beginning um, before uh, anything or else you'll lose some apps, as simple as that. And basically, as I said, this um, this helps me to get to the right provider to be shown. And uh, sometimes I got the wrong um, uh, message icon. Although uh, some people on the Darky forums, such as Serico and those guys, think it's it's kind of useless to have. But uh, if if my provider is Virgin and not T-Mobile, I don't see why I should be um, on a Korea um, CSC. So we'll wait for it to reboot. Convert data partition. Back up operation. And then you get the uh, darky, uh, not the darky, the dark, uh, the voodoo sound. So we're gonna go through setup as you can see because of the factory reset. And now it should come up with the uh, selection between Virgin and T-Mobile. Uh, just wait for it to come up there. It's usually after media scanning is finished running. As you can see, it says no service. Um, soon it'll come up. So we'll just wait for that. As you can see, I've got the selection there. So I want to click Virgin. And there you go, I'm changed to Virgin. So uh, just to double check, you can uh, put this in again. And you can see that I am indeed on XEU. So that's great can exit that and um, yeah so if you need to flash a kernel on it on top uh, it's very easy to do what you need to do is go into the market download SGS kernel flasher and flash it from there I've got a video on how to do that on a separate um, video which I'll link down in the description and that might be that might come in useful uh, later on for a different JVQ um, I, I flashed it uh, 2.8 over again that's why I put it in the internal SD uh, however, it does come with 2.8 built already, so I don't think there's any need for that, as you can see. Zoom in. JV, yeah, JVQ 2.8. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please do rate, comment, subscribe, and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.